Hey guys, Supercon here, aka Tobocon in the uh, retro gaming world. Um, so you, some of you guys know that I, I sell the, the sell the RGB two component uh, encoder chip. I've sold uh, these for a while now. Um, the first one being uh, version one. Okay, that's version one, and uh, apparently I have version two. All right. So what these these uh these board does is it converts uh, RGB to component uh, for for the US TV that most most of TV only display uh, component uh, only accept a component video instead of RGB. Um, so the thing is, you know, you have to uh, mod your system to install these and add the appropriate uh, output uh, such as uh, a DIN8 or uh, RCA jack. Well, till now, there's there's another option for the people who don't want to mod their system. Uh, I'm excited to to bring to you the uh, component box, which I have been working um, with uh, a couple other guys in in the uh, the uh, Tobo world. Tobo world. Sorry. Anyway, I'm excited to show you what. Uh, so what this does is uh, it plugs. It plugs, it plugs into several systems. Um, first, the main system is for the uh, PC engine and TurboGrafx 16. So this plugs to the back of the uh, uh, plugs to the back via the uh, expansion bus, and also you know, hook it up to the Super Nintendo. So a lot of these older systems already output. Uh, RGB signal out of their uh, their AV ports. Um, so what this does is uh, it plugs right into the uh, AV, AV ports. No modification needed. You plug this to the back system and then plug this the other end to the DIN 8 to the component box. So I'm still working out a few kinks right now. Um, for example. Uh, when you plug this into the back of the, the, the topographic of the PC engine, there's a big gap, so we're working on sourcing uh, different co connectors. Also, um, the big thing is, is ultimately, I would like to have this uh, system uh, be hooked up to all the systems all at the same time. Right now, it only works when you hook up one system in at a time. I'll show you that here in a moment. Um, so, let's, let's see how this baby works. Okay, I'm going to show you guys uh, the component box board, the component box in action with all the systems here. So there's a couple other systems that I'd like to try it on, but which I don't own is Atari Jaguar and the Neo Geo uh, AES system. Uh, first, we'll start off with the uh, with the uh, Turbogram 16. As you guys know, the Turbogram 16 is my favorite system of all time. Alright, so first system I'm going to hook it up to this is the Tobogar 16. As you know, Tobogar 16 has the expression port in the back. Uh, this plugs in like so. Um, one thing, one, one kink that we're trying to work out, work on is a, uh, you got to push it pretty hard um, for, it to, for it to work. So let me get lined up here. Alright, and plug in your, uh, your, your cables, uh, your audios. Okay. All right. Turn it on. There we go. So now this TV here is a is a Sony 52 inch LCD TV. Um, it picks up a signal. It, it picks it up as a 480i, but it's it really is a 240p. You can see there. Kind of hard to show you on on, on camera, but uh, it looks way better than the uh, stock uh, composite uh, RCA cable. All right. Next system up. We we'll do the uh, PC engine. Not just any PC engine, but this is the PC engine LT. The PC LT, if you guys don't know, is, is pretty much a laptop version of the PC engine with a built-in screen. 
It also has an expansion in the back, so we'll plug it in, just like the, we did with the TurboGrass 16. All right. Turn it on. There we go. Again, I cannot stress how 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 amazing this will compared to the uh, stock stock composite uh, video output. Okay. Picture is sharp, color is bright. Um, some of the uh, caveat with some of the other. Uh, RGB or component mod is a gel bar. So far, I have not noticed any any uh, gel bars. Um, again, no other mods have been done to the systems. Okay. All right. So let's move along to the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo. This is a this cable all custom. All right, custom made. So we will plug this in the back. The Super Nintendo already has a component mod, but I'm just going to show you that you know a regular system without component mod it can get component video output via the uh, AV port using the component box. Okay, so we'll plug it like that. Really we will unhook this. This plugs into the uh, to the uh, Den 8 on the box. Okay. There you go. Again, uh, the box will output the uh, stereo, or your system has stereo output. Now let's move to the uh, Sega Genesis. Uh, the Sega Genesis only outputs uh, mono sound through the uh, AV port. So, so both 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 channel on the box will be wired to uh, to output the mono sound from the Genesis. Okay. Well, this is by Genesis. Control to pass the intro. Excuse me a second. To uh, the Sega Master System, believe it or not, the Sega Master System also outputs RGB signal via the uh, AV out port. All right, and it also uses the same uh, same Den Den 8. I think it's Den 8, Den 8 or Den 9, Den, Den 8 uh, connectors of the Genesis. All right, so the same cable that's used on the Genesis can be used on the uh, Sega Master System. And just like the Sega, Sega Genesis, uh, the Sega Master System only outputs uh, mono sound. Okay. Oh. 
borrow the power cable from the Sega Genesis. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Again, you got to see it in person to appreciate the quality the difference between component and the AB. I know there's a lot of peers out there that, that refuse to play a retro game on a HDTV, but uh, to me, you know, instead of spending uh, high, high, high money on a uh, upscaler like the uh, XRGB Mini and stuff like that, uh, this component that does you know, would do the trick. Okay. All right, now we'll move up to the uh, Sega Nomad. As you know, it's the Sega Nomad also output RGB signal. Um, the Sega Nomad uses the same uh, same uh, connector as the uh, the Sega CDX and also the uh, the Genesis Model Two, I believe. All right. Again, you know, these are all custom made cables. Um, this uh, Sega Nomad uses the DEN, the Mini DEN 9 connector. Okay. Tuck it into the component box. Right. Running Sonic right now. There you have it. Um, there you have. It. Um, one thing I need to mention that uh, this box should also work with the with the NES that's already been uh, um, RGB modded. Um, mine is not RGB modded, so but I can I can just show you it works with it. Okay. And another thing is, uh, I get people asking me about will work on the on the Turbo Duo or the PC Engine Duo. Um, not exactly, because the uh, Turbo Duo does not have any uh, expansion port, right? It has an AV port, but the AV port does not output uh, RGB. You have to uh, modify um, the Turbo Duo. Basically, what you can do is replace. The, the stock DIN 5 connector with a uh, with a DIN 8 and wire RG, RGB uh, directly to the extra three pins and with that you could use the same uh, the same cable as the uh, Genesis almost besides the uh, the audio issue so it might need its own cable because right now for the Sega Genesis and Sega Master System the uh, cable is wired differently to to uh, make up for the uh, model sound. All right, that is it. All right, guys. So, so that's it. I, I hope you uh, you like it. I mean, I I don't think there's another uh, another device out there right now. Um, but so anyway, give me a shot if you uh, if you'd be interested in something like this. Uh, you can contact me through my website. Also, I'd like to get a shout out to 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 the guys that uh, I'm collaborating with. Uh, Jody from uh, Canada and then also the Steve uh, all this stuff wouldn't have been possible without the Steve uh, uh, design on the uh, component board right. uh, so please subscribe to my channel um, you have any questions or any other input any videos that you would like me to do later on just send me a message you will find my website in the description box okay also, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, all right? And I'd also like to take uh, this time to, to thank my, my amazing daughter, Natalie. Uh, she made these wallets, so if you guys are interested in it, they're $10 a piece. 
Um, give me a shot through my website. Oh, here's one of the bunk. Superhero theme. And then Nintendo. Okay. All right. Till next time. Peace out.